it's nothing new But it's so good to see you We do this every day And I'm still so amazed by you Hi everyone, I'm Devin and you are watching The Egan Family and today we are kicking it off with part two of the living room de-stress my mess video and I'm showing you some behind the scenes of us taking our entire DVD collection and putting it into these old fashioned little DVD and Blu-ray binders. It was extremely satisfying process. We made sure they were all alphabetized and all put away nicely and it's going to save us so much space. So on today's video, you are going to get tons more decluttering and organization and cleaning motivation. If this is your first time stopping by our channel, welcome. We would love to have you stick around and subscribe. On this channel, I share tons of home making, cleaning, organization, mom's life videos, some vlogs, and some homeschool content as well. So if any of that is of interest to you, we would love to have you stick around. And if you are a returning subscriber, we appreciate you so, so much. So like I mentioned, this is part of our De-Stress My Mess series where I have broken our house into different zones and over 12 weeks I'm trying to tackle all of the clutter, all of the unfinished projects, and all of the messes that we've just let accumulate with real life uh, with three kids and a stay-at-home mom who is also a homeschool teacher and gets a little overwhelmed. So right here you're seeing some damage from our air conditioner over the summer. It had a little bit of a leak and unfortunately it chipped some of the trim on this window. So I figured while I was cleaning was the perfect time to try and get this trim touched up. It's one of those projects that bugs you every time you look at it, but it's so minor that you almost, it almost seems like it's more work than it's worth to just accomplish it. So it just keeps getting pushed aside. And so I finally, bit the bullet and did this it took about five minutes start to finish and it makes a huge difference you'll see when it's all painted like it just looks so much crisper and cleaner and really helps to keep the room looking not so disheveled Next, I wanted to tackle this game situation. If you've been around for a while, you know that we just recently went through all of the games and made sure they had all of their pieces. And unfortunately, many have been ruined since then. So I have Parker with me here. He is off screen. He didn't want to be on camera this day and I never make my kids get on camera if they don't want to be. Um, so he is just helping me decide which games he would like to keep, which games don't have the correct pieces, and which games he thinks that he's ready to pass on. Um, if they were, they were in good condition, we pretty much held on to them because he has two younger sisters. So we figured even if he has outgrown them, they might want them in the future. But if they were missing pieces or just not a game the kids were interested in, we did pass them along. And of course, I have my little helper, Benny, with me at all times. Um, but this was a, kind of a long and tedious process as well. And when I went to go through all of these games, I noticed that one of the shelves uh, was missing one of the little pegs that held it up. This is a super inexpensive little bookshelf that we've had since Will and I had our 
like first apartment together and so it's not really surprising that it's broken I'm actually surprised it's taken this long for it to break but it was pretty good timing because Will and I had just discussed purchasing a new furniture piece for this area and we had cleared up all the space underneath the TV in those drawers for these games so it was it was pretty coincidental that this is when it happened so I am on the lookout for a cute little piece to go here preferably one that has drawers on it so it can hide things like games or mail or like be serve as a, like a drop zone right by the front door so if anybody has any furniture pieces that they found on Amazon or you know Target Walmart any any place really um, if you could send me a link to them on Instagram, if you're not following me on Instagram, my handle's always in the description. Um, I would so appreciate that because like I said, I am looking to revamp this little area of our house. Moving over to our little makeshift entertainment center. This is actually a furniture piece my mom got for us and refinished. If you've heard anything about my mom, she is the queen of Facebook Marketplace and redoing furniture. And so this is a piece that we've had for a really long time and I absolutely adore it. And we've been using it as an entertainment center ever since we moved here and it just really functions well for us and we love the way it looks so we're just trying to make the games fit in a way that makes sense um, based on like category of games and the size of the boxes it was a lot of trial and error since the drawers aren't very deep it is a dresser so it's not really meant for these big thick board games but we do make most of them fit in there and Parker just picked a few of his favorites to leave out in whatever furniture piece we end up putting right by the door and we're just really thankful to have made a whole bunch more storage space in whatever that furniture piece will be in the future and to have a better system for storing these games so there's not a lot of visible clutter in the living room because of them. Now that all the games are taken care of, I'm just trying to sort through all of the baby toys that were left downstairs to see which ones are going to go in Eloise's little pack and play, which ones are going to go in a bin for her to grab if she's playing out on the floor, and which ones are going to be stored in this drawer right here. I figured that this drawer could serve as like a little toy rotation. 
um, so I, we can have them easily accessible to switch out in the bins, but also not have every single toy available to her for her to just dump on the ground. So I'm hoping that this works as well as the toy rotation that we set up when we first did a declutter of the kids' toys with all of their toys in um, bins that we can pull up from the basement. So I will keep you updated on how this organization is working for us. But in the few days that we've had it implemented, it really does seem to be working and it's nice to see the kids actually play with toys instead of being overwhelmed by the sheer number of toys that they have. And now I am going through the puzzles that are in this little crate table thing <laughs> and just making sure that we get rid of any of the ones that are missing pieces and just organizing the ones that we have that are full. You'll see over the course of this video that I must have rearranged these toys up here about 9 million times. I just felt that no matter how I, I rearranged them, it still looked way too cluttered. And I know realistically that the kids have a lot of toys easily accessible to them, but I've explained before and I know I don't have to justify because it is our home and it is what works for us. but. The reality is that when Parker is doing homeschool, he is our seven-year-old, and our daughters, um, Emery and Eloise, are almost three and almost one, and so they are not quite school age. So when Parker is doing school, we like to have a lot of different things readily available for the girls so that if Parker needs help with something, um, the girls can distract themselves for a little bit and have a lot of options available. And also, if Parker would like to work independently, they at least have something to occupy them to keep themselves a little bit quieter. Parker likes to be in the same room as the girls when he's doing school, and so this is just what is working for our stage of life. One day, we will live in a house that does not have all of these toys all over the place, and I am sure I will miss it because I love my kids at this age. But. Um, all of that being said, that this is what we were left with, and I do come up with a better solution in the end. Okay, so it's a lot later. Um, the kids and Will and I ran to Target today, so I thought I was going to share with you a little haul. No, this has absolutely nothing to do with the video that I'm filming, but yes, it does allow me to procrastinate, so let's get into it. Um, for those of you who don't know, if you're watching this, the day it goes up. Eloise's birthday is on Friday and we're not doing anything big. I mean, it's, there's not really any place to do anything big. We're trying to keep it, you know, stay safe with everything. So we're just going to throw some decorations up around the house just for pictures. And so the kids and I can celebrate. Will has to work for the majority of her birthday, but he will be here at night. Um, so I got these flowers like this paper flower kit it was six dollars for the three of them and they're I mean they're pretty good size and if they're cute I could hang them up in the kids bedroom until they you know get dusty or whatever we don't want to use them anymore so I thought those were cute Will picked out these and I thought they were adorable it's like a little um like pastel rainbow banner I think it looks super cute um so I think that that will be good to hang up probably in our doorway over there or somewhere on the wall. And then I picked up a one balloon because my baby will be one. Um, so that's really all we're going to do. We're going to have cake at my mom's. Um, but other than that, let's see what else did we get. Oh, the kids wanted these for breakfast as part of breakfast tomorrow and they're glazed apple fritters. 
So those looked good. We got those from Target. And I finally caved and got the uh, power wash, the Dawn power wash. I've been seeing so many people rave about this. My mom raves about it too. And so I'm really excited to actually try this out on my dishes. And it might actually make me like doing dishes. And then the last thing that we got was more of our Mrs. Myers clean day lemon verbena multi-surface concentrate. I've talked to you guys about this before. This is what we use instead of buying a bunch of the um, individual spray bottles. This is the scent that I like the best. And so I just re, I'm looking around because I think my spray bottles are around here somewhere, but I don't know where it went. That's okay. Um, I reuse the same spray bottle and just pour this in um, based on what the directions say. And yeah, it's great. It lasts us forever. The last bottle we've had lasted us like a year um and we use it all the time so it's great it's $8.99 for this whole bottle and it saves money and you don't use as much plastic so gotta love that so that is what we got at Target oh I forgot to tell you that um yeah so it's six dollars for this six dollars for this and then five dollars for that so just like I said some simple little decorations cannot believe that she is almost one. I swear time goes by so much faster when you have kids. And after the first kid, I mean, it's wild. All right, I can't procrastinate anymore. I have to finish getting this room together. Let's go. If you've ever watched any videos of me cleaning my living room, you know that this is my little corner of shame over here in between my couch and the staircase. I just, I don't know how all of this stuff ends up finding its way in there, but it always does. Today we had hair dryers and curling irons and random cords and outfits and this little gift that Carolyn from the Matthew sends, I'll link her channel below and her Instagram, but she brought me that back from her vacation in Florida. She's been sharing a lot of videos on those, so check out her channel. Um, I love my little presents and she also gave me a donut bath bomb. So cute. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. I, what I was going to tell you was while I was cleaning this, I had absolutely no motivation to get anything done. And I pushed through because I knew I wanted to complete this room and I just really didn't want to drag it out for any more days than it had already taken me at this point. But I really just was not feeling it. So after I finished this little corner, I did allow myself time to stop what I was doing, take some time and chill out on the couch. I actually watched one of my friends, Steph Sherry's cleaning videos to help give me some motivation. If you haven't subscribed to her, I will also link her in the description. She is incredible and her cleaning videos always give me the best motivation and she shares real life mess real life messes and um i love her house too so go check her out but yeah so i just wanted to normalize that if you ever hit a rut in your cleaning give yourself a break and permission to step away i enjoy cleaning to me i have some anxiety issues and cleaning to me is it can be very therapeutic but if i am not fully in it and my heart isn't in it at the moment, it can seem very overwhelming, um, especially in projects like this where it seems like every corner I turned there was another giant disaster that I had to tackle. And so I didn't want the whole rest of the project to feel like that and so I gave myself permission to take a little time out by myself on the couch with a blanket, watch a good YouTube video, get myself you know, amped up and ready to go again. And when I got back to doing um, the cleaning, maybe I wasn't loving it as much as I normally would, but it wasn't as bad as it had been. So Steph's videos definitely did the trick and I had enough motivation to finish the rest of this project. Now, I do temporarily house my computer in the living room until we go upstairs and tackle our bedroom and create a really nice workspace up there for it. Um, so this is temporary, but it is the setup that we are working with now. So I just wanted to arrange the little desk area so it was more functional for me. 
And then, like I said, I gave myself a little permission to take a break. And when I came back to it, I decided I wanted to tackle this corner. This corner has always been where we either house a Christmas tree or this rocking chair that is actually from my childhood home from when I was a little girl. Um, but I wanted to do something a little different in here. Um, after I clean the floor and get rid of the boppy that has served me through three children, I'm very sad that this stage of my life is over, but very happy to see what raising big kids is going to be like. Um, I wanted to turn this little area into a dollhouse play area for Emery um, and I, any of the other kids who want to play with them too, but Emery has been so into independent play lately and she absolutely absolutely loves her Vampirina Scare b, b that my mom found her for Christmas. Um, and she has a few other little doll houses and little toy setups that I really wanted to make this a place where she could come and feel like she has an area of her own. Um, for those of you who don't know, we do live in a two bedroom house. So the three kids currently share one space. Um, and Parker has a really big bed in their bedroom that is, you'll see it in our next de-stress my mess videos, but it's, it looks like a cabin and so he does have privacy there and um, most of the shelves in the dining room belong to his toys and he has most of the toys like upstairs in their room so I really wanted to make Emery a little place that she could feel like was her little area to go um, and play with her dollhouses and leave them set up uh, I know when I was younger, I used to love setting up my doll houses and leaving them the way that I had them set up so that if I was like playing out a story or a family or something, I could continue that the next day. And so I really wanted to give Emmy a little space where she could do that as well, but that wasn't right in the middle of our living area. So I thought this little nook was absolutely perfect for that. Um, like I said, they don't really have too much space in their room for opportunities like that. So I was really happy with how that turned out. I thought it was really cute. And now I'm on to this little area for probably the millionth time between these two living room videos. But I finally came up with a solution that looks as neat as it can, but also serves us functionally. And when the kids came down in the morning to play with their toys, all three of them got really excited. Eloise went right over and started making coffee in her little uh, Melissa and Doug Keurig set that I'm going to be putting back in a minute. And Emery just thought it was so cool that she had her little doll houses in the corner and she played in them all day. And Parker loved having the girls close to him while he was doing school. It was just, it ended up functioning really, really well for us. And now it's time to take care of this big trash heap over here with my other little helper, Ruby, on the stairs there being my supervisor. The cats are so funny. Anytime I'm cleaning at night, they always come out and help, and it's the cutest little thing. Um, a lot of the time, they just end up crawling all over any project that I'm doing, but I love their company nonetheless. Let me know if your pets like to be involved in whatever you are doing and what kind of pets that you have. I always, I love animals, so I love hearing about any of your pets. The last space that I needed to focus on getting really organized was this bookshelf. If you watched our um, homeschool library tour video, which I can link in the description box if you're interested, um, I explained that this is where we keep all of the board books and the books that um, it's okay if the girls get to and they're a little bit more durable. Um, so. Emery really loves to take down stories and read them. Obviously, she doesn't really read them, but she does have very good um, memory when it comes to stories, so it's cute. She can remember a lot of the words that are actually on the page and correlate them to the pictures, and it's she is getting so smart, and the things that she's doing lately are just blowing my mind. It's amazing that once they start picking up these skills, how fast they like snowball with them. 
and so she's just in this really fun age that's just almost three and it's really cool to um, watch her learn but I wanted to get that all organized and then I am giving you an overview of what I was left with for a surprise reveal of the after. Now it's not 100% perfect, nothing ever is, but in comparison to what we had before, this is going to function so much better for our family. Um, we absolutely love the way that it came out. That's a reminder to myself I need to print out a picture of Eloise for that wall. Third child problems. And uh, we are so thrilled to actually have space to move around in our living room again and room for all of the toys to go and a place for them to go but don't pay attention to that mess okay so that's gonna wrap up the living room edition i am gonna have the boys take care of that that's their job is carrying things up the stairs if you don't know who haven't been on our channel uh for a while i have I don't know what's on my oh it's marker from emory I have a torn ACL that's been actually torn for like a decade and um, I'm really not supposed to be carrying a bunch of stuff or going up and down the stairs a lot and I also injured my back uh, during Eloise's delivery so bad that like over the summer I had to go to the ER because it spasmed so bad I couldn't move so all that paired together the boys are wonderful and take care of the stair stuff for me. So I wish that I could show you the final, final product, but if you want a peek of that, make sure that you follow us on Instagram um, and I will be sure to share a picture of the entire living room done. And uh, you're gonna wanna look on Instagram anyway because we have a really cute blankets that are in the wash right now. So that'll just make the whole thing a little bit more festive and cozy and inviting. I love the little play area for Emery. I feel like she's always kind of lost when Parker's doing school. So for her to have her own designated area for all of her little houses, I think she's going to absolutely love. And Parker, I think, will even love playing over there with her. And now Eloise's toys are out. Um, she's getting, she's like seconds away from walking. So to have her toys out and about where she can actually get to them, um, is great and to not have to worry about her like exploring the living room is also amazing and I am I am thankful that it's done. I'm tired and sweaty and gross but thankful. So thank you so much for sticking around uh, on the de-stress de my mess journey. Next week we will be heading upstairs. We've officially completed every room in the downstairs and we have the kids room and then mine and Will's room and let me tell you that our room is a doozy. It's gonna take two full weeks, which is four videos to get through that whole mess. And I'm not even sure we're gonna be able to accomplish it, but fingers crossed. That's like the one room, we've lived in our house for four years. That's the room, one room we haven't touched. So you're going to wanna be subscribed and have your bell notifications on if you are in the mood for some real decluttering organization mess tackling because that's those are going to be your videos so thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one bye or as parker would say peace